Welcome back to my channel. This is Rabia on Designer Logic. This is the text effect that we're going to create. So let's jump right into it. So I've already taken my background from the previous document and we're going to simply start typing our text. I'm going to write sliced. For this effect, you want to make sure that your text is bold enough. So make sure always use either bold or heavy. And uh, another thing to keep in mind is check your tracking. So in this case, I'm using Arial Black, which comes with the default setting like this. Usually it's spaced out, so I have to make sure that for this effect, my settings are uh, a little bit, you know, close together. So I've used a negative 80 for tracking. Okay, so once I have this, I'm going to increase the size a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go to my uh, lasso tool. So in this case, if you want to split your text, you would use the polygon lasso tool. You kind of want to create something like this. Okay. Once you have this, now you want to apply the layer mask on it. If you don't know how layer masking works, I have made a video on this. Uh, if you click on the link above, it'll lead you towards that. So once we have applied the mask, now we're going to duplicate our layer. We're going to invert the first layer. So you would press command I to invert the thumbnail. You can also do this by double clicking on the thumbnail and then it gives you a button for inverting. Okay, so I had this inverted. So first layer is inverted and the second one is not. Now we're going to click on the second layer and using our move tool, we're going to move our text a little bit. I'm going to create a new layer. Press command and click on this thumbnail of the first layer that we inverted before, like this. So it's gonna give you this kind of like a, an effect. Now you go to your brush tool, make sure you have the um, no hardness on. You can simply create a shadow effect. So it looks like it's um, split really nice. Command D to deselect. And if you have messed up a little bit, don't worry about it. You can always go to your eraser tool and erase the corners. Another thing I will tell you is that since we created the layer masking, you can go back to this layer and double click on the T and you can type anything else you want and change the text. So you don't really have to stick to the same uh, letters and it, uh, it can always change depending on your project or anything like that. So this is my final look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys next time.